a moving piece of Hong Kong history. But there's more than just a sweet ride to these creaky and colorful city gems. I'm Reuters Tara Joseph. Trams run across the most crowded parts of Hong Kong Island. They started as a cheap and convenient form of transportation here, but now they've become much, much more. They're lovingly called ding-dings in Cantonese. And in a territory where many feel they are losing their own sense of identity, these quirky carriages are a piece of what makes Hong Kong unique. 200,000 people ride the trams every day, and they're incredibly affordable. A flat fare equivalent to 30 U.S. cents, and you can ride across town for up to 30 kilometers. Earlier this year, a town planner suggested taking trams off the streets in Central to make way for more private cars. The result, a torrent of abuse from the public and an active push to keep trams going. Hong Kong Tramways, owned by a French-listed company, is trying to modernize the service, designing replica cars with modern comforts like air conditioning. We are building a new generation of uh, tram cars that, by the way, are built 100% here in Hong Kong in our depot. So the trams look similar because we wanted to protect the heritage. You have real-time passenger information. The seating is more comfortable. We have new engines, new braking systems. Trams may feel a bit out of step in 21st century Hong Kong, but they're one of the few pleasures of a time gone by. A rare remaining symbol of the city whose old-time culture is fast getting drowned out by the new.